Hmm, I'm hungry. What should I have for lunch today? Maybe I'll have some of these great value corn dogs. No, actually, I'm on a diet. I'll have the great value mini corn dogs. Today, I will be reviewing great value mini corn dogs. Great value is the Walmart brand. So this is Walmart mini corn dogs. Now immediately, I noticed over here that it says enlarged to show detail, and these are already pretty small. These seem quite small, like a little too small maybe. Hopefully it's not enlarged much. Anyway, the nutrition facts. Serving size, four pieces, four servings per container. It's 210 calories, 17% total fat, 11% cholesterol, 20% sodium, 7% carbohydrate, and six grams of protein. So this is a, a more of a snack than a microwave meal. Not terrible. It's always salty, but everything's salty. All right, so the instructions. It's got preheating instructions. It's also got baking and deep frying instructions, but I am not touching a deep fryer. So remove product from packaging for all heating instructions. Let's stand for two minutes before serving. Heating time. These aren't preheating instructions. These are just general instructions. Okay, whatever. Uh, microwave instructions. Use a microwave safe dish. Heat frozen minis for 60 to 70 seconds on high power. Microwave thawed minis for 40. Uh, we are, we're not using thawed, these are frozen. So 60, so one minute. Okay, that's pretty easy. Okay, so first off, enlarge to show texture. Yeah, about that. No, no, shrunk. Shrunk to not show texture. Or uh, realistically, it's probably enlarged because they took the image further back. But the this is uh, the size, so they're actually a lot bigger than the the box shows. They look all right. They look like they've got in the, the pre-cooking there may be a little burnt. Like you got this one right here that looks slightly burnt, but that's okay. Uh, I'll cook four of these. I assume the microwave instructions are is for one serving. It doesn't exactly say. So I'll, I'll cook four of these and be right back. Okay, I'm back. The box went back in the freezer with the rest of the corn dogs. The ketchup is also not part of the dish directly. They just had that on the box. So I used some ketchup that was in our uh, refrigerator. This is how they look. They look okay. They look like cheap corn dogs. They're sort of breaking apart here. Not really uh, very structurally sound. They're very hot to touch. Maybe I'll uh, YOLO. I don't need a fork. They smell like corn dog though. Looking at just four now, I can't believe that only four is a serving. I, my hunger surely cannot be satiated by such peasantry. Let's have a, a little taste. Um, they're fine. The sausage is a, just a generic hot dog, uh, like a cheap generic hot dog. It's all right, it's not that bad. Uh, since these are so small though, there's actually a lot of breading to hot dog and you can definitely taste the sort of cornmeal breading. It's ever so slightly brainy, I think, and it, it's very oily. Like my hands are covered in oil now after touching this one. Let's, I'm gonna try a little bit without the ketchup. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a cross section, N nothing crazy going on here. It's just a, a normal hot dog. It doesn't taste like it's got any spices or seasonings, just a plain hot dog inside of a cornmeal corn dog breading thing on the outside. I haven't had a corn dog probably since I was like eight or something, but this reminds me of like I imagine this tastes like every other corn dog I've had except it's you know smaller I'm not a huge fan of the corn dog breading maybe on the outside it's actually a little sweet yeah I think it is a little sweet on the outside but overall I I don't know I did cornmeal whatever makes up corn dog breading isn't my my favorite it's not it doesn't rank very highly on my uh, types of breading, nor my very highly on my uses for corn. I'm not sure. Corn is a starch, right? I think this tastes very starchy. I'm not actually sure what that means though, but it is like kind of sticky and covered in oil or s some sort of residue. I'm also not entirely sure that having it with ketchup is an improvement. I think I actually prefer it without ketchup. Ketchup kind of just overpowers the taste and it's just just kind of tastes like ketchup. 
and the, the, the feel and texture of this isn't great. The outer corn layer is uh, slightly rough on the outside, but it's very damp with the, all the grease or oil or whatever this is. And uh, the hot dog on the inside is just a hot dog. It's just a normal, plain, cheap hot dog. Well, now I've eaten all of them. I don't think that actually was very much. Now that I've got the, the flavor, though, I kind of do want more. But, I don't know, I, d I just don't feel like it was very good. There's like this salty sweet thing going on with the breading. I think maybe an, if I were to have to rank it in terms of like five is I'm completely ambivalent. I, it's like a 5.1 and that I very ever so slight like it, but it, it, it's got a bunch of negatives too. I'm going to give the dish overall a five. It's okay. It's a decent snack that's easy to make. You're gonna have to cook a bunch of servings if you want to actually snack on it while you're watching something. And the hot dog is fine, it's a fine hot dog, but it, it's just kind of like a, a, a plain hot dog. There's nothing special about it, no spices or anything that I could tell. And the, the corn dog batter or whatever, like a soggy, salty, sweet corn dough batter thing. Not my favorite. So I say five overall. I'd eat more. Uh, I'm gonna have to finish the box because we bought it. So I I'll finish it at some point, but it's not something that I think I'd go out of my way to eat. Since it's the Walmart Great Value brand, I'm gonna see how much it costs. So according to the Walmart website that I'm looking at right now, that box costs like $2.20. For $2.20, I think it's a, a decent snack, and I feel like there's definitely better meals you could have. Maybe not for $2, though. 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. See ya. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In this outro, I want to show you some of the absolutely terrible jokes that I find when I'm getting a blank and I'm trying to get inspiration for whatever the intro video is. So, here we are on Google. I'm looking up corn dog jokes, right? So I go here, click here. This is the first one. What? What is... This isn't even a corn dog joke. Oh, it's a corny joke. But it's not a corn dog joke. Like, come on, I wanted corn dog jokes. And we go to up joke, and there's two jokes. There's this one that's, like, long, and then there's this one that's just an anti-joke. It's like, ugh. And then I go, like, over here, and we get a whole bunch of jokes. But they're so bad. They're all so awful. Like, what is this? What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta? This isn't even related to corn dogs. Like, what is this? Useless. Absolutely useless. Hopefully whatever I came up with for the intro joke was good, because uh, all the stuff online is just terrible. Just awful. Maybe I'll do a Walmart joke. Who knows? Thank you for watching. See ya.